Right, and so now we've got to go to the library, which I think is up here, because there's a different set of stairs. Right, so this is where we need to be next. Talk to me, brother. I'm Gregor, a novice. I know. But I've no time for idle chat. I transcribe books from dawn till dusk. I've been doing it for years and I'll be doing it till the day I die. What, you do nothing else? It is my penance and my blessing. And now, brother, if you don't mind, I'd like to get this page finished. Hmm, okay. Uh, well, that's all we need to speak to. What do you desire, brother Gregor? I found this piece of parchment. It looks like it's been ripped out of a book. Do you know what it is? Hmm. It appears to be a page torn out of Ovid. Ovid? What is that? Is it the name of a book? Not what, but who? Ovid was a great Roman poet. We have a few volumes by him in the library, but one of them vanished one day. Now I believe I can guess what happened. Brother Eustace, may the earth rest lightly on him, was quite narrow-minded when it came to classical literature. If a book had any mention of woman at all, he condemned it as a heretical work. If he'd had his way, all such books would have been burned. Ovid's The Art of Love must have been such a thorn in his side that he stole it from the library, tore it up, and hid the pages wherever he could. Hmm, okay. Oh, would you like me to put the book back together again? Absolutely. Eustace's wits weren't the sharpest, so I'm sure he didn't destroy any of the pages. I imagine he hid them throughout the monastery. It might take you a while to find them all, but when you do, you can rest assured Ovid will return to his rightful place in the library. Good. I'll look around for it. Thank you, brother. It's of no great importance, but if you can find all ten pages, I'll be most grateful. Fair enough. Where should I look? If I knew, I wouldn't have asked you to do it. The pages of the book could be hidden anywhere. From the garden to the refectory. Okie doke. Can you tell me something about the book? The Art of Love is a sort of manual instructing young people how to find and maintain love. It's a lovely work. I don't understand what bothered Eustace so much about it. But, as I was saying, he considered the book to be immoral and tore it up to stop it corrupting any of his brothers. Is it possible to learn something about the other novices in the library? Only the abbot and the prior keep such records. And can I see them? No. The abbot writes and keeps his records in his chambers, and only he and the prior are permitted to read them. Sounds like that's where we need to go, then. I'm here to work. Good. This is most likely the first time you've ever done this in your life. But it's easier than you think. Just a bit of practice and learning Latin. Here's the original, and here are the blank parchments on which you'll copy what you read in the original. Is that clear? Then you may begin, and try not to make a mess of it. Okay. Uh, not that I'm a, an expert at Latin. Right. I think that's that one there that I'm seeing on the top line. Um. So, Dominus or Domitus? Man, this is... this is difficult. I think I'll go with that top line.
think it's that one. Right, I think that's what it is. Man, Latin is not easy to read. We've got to copy the original onto the new one. Right, I'll give him that and see what he thinks of it. Probably shoot us down straight away, but here we go. My boy, my boy, what have you done? Oh. This is a disaster. It's Latin. What do you expect? Talk to me, brother. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Oh, never mind. Right, so let's see what's here. So there's a lot of... Oh, we've got to steal these. If there's any books we want to read, probably better to come in here at night then. Ah, oh, yeah, so like there's, a, there's some books here we could read. Maybe a hard luck pick job. It contains forbidden books. Uh, what? What is it, brother? I'd like to ask about something. Can't you see I'm working? Ask someone else. Okay, so these are forbidden books, I think. Get away from my cabinet. Yeah, yeah. There, right, for your eyes to see. Wonder where that leads to. It sounds like we want to come back here at night. Because if I try to pick anything up here, it's going to be fast as stealing. We can always pick them up and put them back, but we'd have to do it at night. It should be pretty easy to unlock that one. I'm just bothered about... I mean, that is... That one's a very hard. That's hard. Hmm. So there's nothing really to do... Until... four o'clock so I mean we could try and sneak back out but I'm tempted to wait until I've got free time yeah I think I'll do that it's less chance of getting caught right then four o'clock mass and prayer so we've got until six o'clock but it gives us a bit of leeway so We've got a few hours until about probably nine o'clock, I'd imagine. Plenty of time to ask people things. Uh, plenty of time to then go looking for things. But, yeah, I'm going to see me sneaking around at night looking for more stuff. Right, well... Hopefully that monk's gone to bed because it's past ten. Well, it's getting on towards ten o'clock. Hello. What the heck, Siskin doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Well, probably the same as you. I want to be able to read in peace and quiet, and not just the books they make us read. What exactly do you read here? Well, I'd be interested to find the unofficial biography of Saint Procopius, but there probably is no such thing. To be honest, I was expecting some entertaining reading, but it's just the same old stuffy nonsense. But if that locked cabinet there with all the forbidden books was open, that would be a different story. Until recently it was still unlocked, but after something vanished they've kept it locked tight. Maybe I could get inside. Oh, that would be wonderful. I'd love to pour over some of those tomes. We'd be in it together, up to our ears in it. What do you say? We'll see what I can do. Hmm, okay. Right, well. Oh, hang on. Don't, don't want books that you don't need. I'm interested in books that I can... Uh find helpful for my reading so 
Bit of a dig around for those first. Oh man, <laughs> I keep bringing the books out. I want to have a look around for those first and then we'll either try getting there through that door or into the, the chest there. Right then. I did manage to get at least one book out of that lot. So that, well, two I think. So that's not too bad. So I think we'll try this door first. So I've only got the one lock pick. Uh, where do you need to be? Shh. Keep it down. Nobody here. Hmm, that seems to be quite common that I'm finding. Bring to torch. <gasps> it's a prior. Bluey! What are you doing outside at night? You should be sleeping, not oh, I'll leave him I'll leave him to get caught. <laughs> oh struth. If I get caught I'm really I'm gonna end up back in there. Oh struth. We'll have to try it. So at least I know there now then it's a case of I wonder if we could get um other, any other portions I suppose. If I can get like a padfoot portion that might help, but at least at least I know that's the prior's room. Right, so that's a bit of a wasted night. Could have done better, I think. Put the prior up. Right, I'm going to stash this away. In case we get there, uh, think it tomorrow. Right, we'll put that away. Oh, we put everything away. All that back. Oh, so there's a torch there. I could have. Next time, I'll take the torch. Right, I guess we'll have to go through the motions of another day then. Ugh. Aha, so that was handy. I found a torn page in that little chest in the kitchen here. Uh, it could be worth something to somebody. I ended up spending another night in jail. Because obviously I got caught by the prior. Um. At least I managed to get some some ingredients out of the herbarium to get uh, some padfoot potion. And I'm going to get some wine because I'll be better at picking locks. Once I've had a bit to drink. Uh, is there anything around here? Right, try this one. I'll do for now. Hmm, plenty of food probably in here. Right, let's just going around looking for trunks, looking for. Oh, what time is it? That's all right. Probably dumb running around with a with a torch, but I'm just banking on nobody being around to see me. And we'll go upstairs and try uh, getting into where the prior is. Well, nothing major so far. 
fuck out of that is. Uh, I could actually try breaking out because then I could get more luck picks to be honest. Oh, another torn page. Oh, that's not bad, we're about halfway through. Uh, love that. Where was that one? Nope. I'm assuming anything that's locked has got something valuable in it. Or not. Well, yeah. Worth something, but not of use to me. At least not yet. We'll have another one of them. Right, have you got anything interesting? Oh, Charles the Fourth. We'll have that. Then we'll put it back. Seems kind of nuts stealing things to put them back again. Right. So, the locks on these doors I think are going to be very hard. Right, well I'll tell you what. I'm going to try and get back up to the library. Remember where that is. Up here. It's a sleeping quarters. It's up here, isn't it? Hello. Take that. Right, I'm assuming there's only Siskin here again. Oh, we're gonna have to unlock this again. Hmm. What was that noise? Shh. Shh. Right, I'll put that away. We'll have our padfoot portion. Then we can a bit more quiet. Uh, that's a thought. Making too much noise. Probably why they're too noisy. If memory serves, he was in there, wasn't he? Yeah, I think the pry was. Well, actually, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Am I missing something? Just thought he might have something. Oh, that's a very hard one. Uh, thought he might have like a bookshelf. Oh! Oh! 
Flippinek, a walk I'm up. I'm gonna get in a serious trouble with this. How come I keep waking him up? I mean I I'm seriously tempted to knock him out. <laughs> I could do. I could knock him out. Oh man, this just this this is just getting ridiculous. Right, we're gonna have to stash all our stuff. I can see me going back to jail for another day at this rate. I believe it just keep keep waking him up. Right, what have we got on ourselves then? We'll put that back. Uh I'll put everything back. Put everything back. Don't really need that to be honest. Right, so we'll put our robes on and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Ah, <laughs> oh, strength. Right then, so early morning mass seems to be about the best time. Come here and try and break into the prior's place, because the librarian's not around and neither is the prior. So I've tried coming here at night. I seem to wake the prior up. <laughs> it's just getting crazy. So a bit of uh, bit of alcohol is helping. Makes the locks a lot easier. There's nothing. There's nothing around here that I'm finding of use. I'm gonna try and break into that door there. I'm after records. I think they're keeping records on these novices as to where they really come from. So there must be some information he keeps around here somewhere. I've only got a small amount of time. Because the librarian's back. Apparently he works from dusk till dawn. So I'll probably get out of here. And he'll be back. He hasn't complained before. Ooh. Well, I'll take that anyway. Uh, what the heck. Nope. Okay, so that seems to confirm his uh, thoughts. Okay. Oh, so that's why he's not keen on uh, talking uh, talking about his past. That's actually quite similar to the, the Carl, actually. Uh, I don't know, he studied theology. Now, they said Antonius was a... This guy we're looking for... Pius, he was supposed to be a priest originally. Ah, right. Yes, we already know that, yeah. Puzzle because I wonder if this is in order. Did he turn up first, then him? Because I think they were suggesting the last one to come here came here and it wasn't voluntary. Hmm. Suspecting Antonius more than anybody, what time is it? So the librarian's probably back. Which isn't good. Where does this lead? I want to find out where this leads to.
Because you never know, we might get some interesting things. Everybody seems to keep dried foods lying around. Ooh, one page. Yeah, I'm suspecting it's probably Antonius of all the people. Hello, where's this? I wonder if that's an, I wonder if that's an outside door there. Oh man, you break into a lock and there's nothing in. Yeah, I wonder if this is an outside door. I can hear the dogs outside barking. Ah, so we've got a way out. Or have we? No, we haven't. Ah, I was beginning to think there was a... There was a oh, well, actually it could lead somewhere else. Hold on. So it's the obviously I know where we are now then. Right, so I know where we are. So that's handy then. Although to be fair, I mean we'll I'd probably just go out the main door anyway. Yeah. Now the librarian's probably gonna be back. Oop. Don't worry about the cabinet. Right. Need to have a bit of a think. Cause I've got a bit more info on people. Yeah, where where do I need to be? Radio labors. Six AM is the common meal, so we're not there yet. So it's right. I need to I need to keep clear of the the cicadas because do not want them catching me. Let's just dump everything into here, and we'll get back what we need. There's stuff here that I definitely want back. Uh, I want that back. I want that back. I may as well put them on. <laughs> yeah, worst case we get caught and at least I've got that. Right, so there's that. I think interesting probably at night to go and try and break into that forbidden uh, cabinet now hmm is that there because we we got caught and we overheard somebody in there so that's probably something worth doing at night yeah that was what brother Nevelas was asking me about hmm all stuff to probably do at night then I guess we'll get on about it with our daily work, although I still kind of figure out how to do the actual uh, the Latin scribing stuff. Wow, oh, that's a lot to do at night. Ah, now actually, now might be a good time to ask these two some questions. What would you like? How is it that you don't get any penance for missing morning prayers? I've paid off the circators to turn a blind eye. And the other monks don't notice as long as you show your face there from time to time. No one's too awake at that time of the morning. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um. Hmm. It's your look, isn't it? What is it, brother? Um. That'll be blackmail if we had to go down that stra uh, down that road. Well, seeing as everybody's off to get something to eat, I'm going to have a bit of a poke around down here because 
Whenever I've been caught, I've ended up in that little jail lair, it seems. We've overheard something. Oh, another torn page. Oh, cool. Seven of ten. Not bad. Right, let's have a bit of a book around. I mean, I want to come back at night, but there might be something in these uh, chests. There's a door back there as well. Anything? Oh, there's lots of stuff to sell off, I suppose. It's a very hard one. But, uh, Better get something to drink to make this a bit easier. If it's very hard, then presumably there's something there of interest. Ah! It's the way out. <laughs> so I found another way out. Oh, okay. We know how to get out now. Well, there's a few ways out. I mean, we could go out the main door, to be honest. But... Right, let's see. It's uh, it's getting on for six o'clock, so I'll probably want to hang around at night. Uh, see what we can find out about what's going on down here. Because, you know, you can always uh, use that to your advantage. And somebody in. <laughs> I keep getting turned in and it's getting it's getting crazy. I don't know how to do it, but I'm sure nobody actually sees me doing Oh, I could do with that. I'm sure nobody actually sees me like stealing anything, but as soon as I get seen by a blooming cicada, I get uh, get thrown in jail. Not that I don't know why anybody wants to break into jail, but I mean, that's a pokey little cell. There's a thought, I could like hide down here for a few hours, no one's gonna know. <laughs> Let's do that then. <laughs> I can't believe it. I went to sleep in there and I ended up waking up uh, in a blooming barn outside, so I'm about to break back in again. Ah, oh, that's true. Let's see what these two are up to. You've seen us drinking here, so either join in or swear you won't tell a soul. You wouldn't want to end up like Lucas now, would you? Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll join in. All right. I wouldn't mind some wine. That's more like it. Sit down and have a drink, my lad. Brother? Oh, not again. Where were you during Mass? Don't tell me you didn't know that Holy Mass is the foundation on which your life here is built. Um. Uh, I definitely was there. I did come a little late, so perhaps no one noticed me. Well, really? This time I'll look the other way. But next time you won't get out of being punished. Brother? Stealing is a sin. No. You should know that as a Christian and certainly as a monk. Even if I wanted to forgive you, I couldn't. Thou shalt not steal. How does anybody catch me doing it? Very well, brother. I accept my punishment. Now, show me what you have on you. I must confiscate anything that is not allowed in the monastery. Ah, oh, it's going to take me another day to get back to this again. Oh, Struth, I don't think I can get any worse at this Latin if I tried. <laughs> anyway, I've, I've got a bit of free time, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask these novices, see if they can help me. Um, In the night, I overheard the cicators in the cellar. They were talking about you. Oh, no. So it's still not over. This isn't a life in service of God. This is purgatory. Lucas, what's going on? What do you think? Just like you, I saw the cicators drinking and playing hazard as if they were in a brothel. We should report them. I agree. I warned them if they didn't stop. I'd go and tell the prior. But instead of mending their ways, they vented their anger on me. You've picked the wrong people to make enemies of, Lucas, they told me. Now, I can't even count how many days and nights I've spent locked up in solitary confinement for the tiniest offences, or for no offence at all. 
Hmm. Is there something I can do to help? Would you? I think all it might take is for you to go and sit down with them. Have a talk, set things straight. Then they'd leave me alone. But I'm afraid even this path leads nowhere. They'd probably start hounding you as well. Well, let's hope things will settle down. I'm not afraid of them. You mean our Brother, you have the courage I lack. May the grace of God be upon you. Oh, why's that? There was only a handful of bandits there. A handful? I mm, don't think that's going to help me anything. Is that right? I don't think he's the one, but I'll... Uh, let's let's poke in front of it and see what we get. There's something I should tell you. Something secret. I'm looking for someone here in the monastery. You're looking for someone? But you're a novice, aren't you? I am a novice. At least until I find the man I'm looking for. Why would you be looking amongst monks? You know, the laws of man aren't valid here. In the cloister, we're subject to divine law, the law of the church. I'm looking for a footpad who's hiding out here in the monastery. He had a hand in raising the Neuhof farm. He's taken many lives. I, I heard something about that. But why are you telling me all this? Because you could help me. It has to be one of the other novices. That can't be. Have you told the prior? What are you going to do to this man once you find him? I don't know yet. It won't be easy to drag this criminal away from the protection of the cloister. Unless the abbot gives his blessing. But I still can't believe it. Do you have any idea which of the novices could be the imposter I'm looking for? I don't know, and I don't care to know. I wish you'd never told me. Now I won't be able to sleep at night. Mm. I don't think it is him. I don't think he is pious, and I don't think it's Siskin either. Try him instead. I mean, I'm very aware of Antonius, because, I mean, the, the prior's notes suggested his story was a bit iffy. I think he is telling me the truth, I think, because it's in his notes, and he told me that anyway. What would you like? There's something I should tell you. Something you won't be happy to hear. I'm here to find someone and, um, well, to do away with him. But listen, it's not murder, not when it's a man like him. He's one of the brigands who burned down Neuhof. He doesn't deserve to live. What's he doing here? And who are you? They call him Pius because he used to be a priest. When he found out a lot of people were after him, he hid away here. And as you can see, escaped suspicion. They sent me here to find him and bring him to justice. He's one of the novices. So we have one outlaw and one assassin in our midst. This place is a lot more exciting than I expected. Do you know who it is? Well, that's just it. I think it's him. I think it's him. It could be Antonius? Antonius? He's a fine fellow. No, no, it can't be him. Although, you never know what's hiding beneath the man's skin. See how hard it is? It could be anyone, and at the same time, nobody in particular. What about... Well, let's play this against him and see what he comes up with. I suspect Lucas. He certainly says little enough, and he keeps himself to himself. I could well believe he's hiding something, but not that he's a killer. Hmm. I suspect it could be Yodok. Do you know that occurred to me too? Yodok's a scoundrel and a cheat. I believe he'd be capable of anything. I won't tell you more, and I'd like you to keep silent about this too. You're talking about killing in the monastery. I really should report it. Would you do that? I have a feeling you wouldn't. You're right. I'll keep it to myself. I've got problems enough of my own without involving myself in yours. And besides, I mean to be gone from here within a year, so why should I care what happens with the monastery? Thank you, Siskin. I appreciate it.
Hmm. I think we'll wait around till it gets dark and we'll go and have a chat with those monks. Yeah. Although, hopefully I won't get caught again. <laughs> right, these lot are still here, so let's have a chat with them and see if we can get any further without getting put back in the jail. You mean like your good self last Christmas day? The ah, way you John. drowned out the prior's voice by snoring through the yeah, actor's Yeah, I don't like these sick haters. So what would you like? Um, God be with you. What are you doing here? What does it look like, drinking? But we're all monks. Youngster, when you're as old as I, you'll understand. But you're the cicators. You're the ones meant to be keeping order here. How can gambling and drinking be a fitting part of a monk's life? Well, if you really want to know, see for yourself. Um, okay, let's, let's play a role. All right, have it your way. I'll say one thing, brother. This wine would grace the Pope's table. I'm not so sure. It's a bit sour. God knows what's in it. Don't be absurd. It's a first-class cask, direct from Znoimo. Talk to me, brother. You mentioned Yodok. What does he do for you? Nothing much. He's just a little suckling like you. He'll do whatever it takes to stay on our good side. Sometimes we make use of him when there are errands to run. Where'd you get the wine from? I thought the monastery cellars were guarded. So they are, but this wine isn't from the monastery. Listen, lad, would you help us out with something? This cask is almost empty and we need a new one. We're a bit old for such exertions. But you, on the other hand... I'll help you. What do I need to do? Ha! I knew it. Help novice Jodok arrange for a new cask. Talk to him first thing in the morning and by tomorrow night the cask can be on the table. Alright, I'll talk to him. Yeah. My dear brothers, I'd like to ask a favour of you. If it's wine you want, laddie, go and find your own. <laughs> it's about novice Lucas. I've spoken with him and learned a few things. I'd appreciate it if you'd stop treating him so cruelly. Well, well, Brother Gregor, I never thought for a moment you were the sort of man who would associate with someone like Lucas. I'll have you know he's a sodomite, a depraved sinner, and an impudent little louse who wanted to break up our little after-dark get-togethers and rat us out to the prior. He needs to be kept in line. He hates you because you trample all over him and he has nothing to lose. If you show him just a bit of kindness, he'll think again about taking you on. You'll see. Hmm, fine. You've convinced me. You can tell him things have been straightened out. But he'd better be on his best behaviour from now on. Beware of Lucas. He might corrupt you. What do you mean? He's a sodomite, a sinner. He might try to get you into the habit, or out of it. <laughs> I'll decide for myself who I do and don't talk to. Right, so we've got to... Oh, ah, Ruth, we need to get their wine tomorrow then. Every In which case, I think we will sneak up to the library. See if we can break into that forbidden chest. I mean, I've got the key, but... Uh, right, where did I keep my... Speaking of lock... Uh, yeah, I need my lockpick, don't I? Uh, that's that. Uh, it's in here, isn't it? Right. It's in here. There it is. Watches as well, because it's a bit dark. I don't, I don't want to get caught by anybody again. I'm sick of getting caught. Right, so we need to be up here. So we can either open the chest because we've got the key or we can just break in anyway. May as well keep up the practice. Oh, have we got any wine? Oh, if we don't have any wine. Oh, I don't have any wine. Ah, never mind. Hey, 
That doesn't help. <laughs> Surely there's something in here I can have a look at. Well, that was kind of pointless. I've, I've broken into the, the forbidden closet. I can't get anything out. Because there's, there's stuff in here I'm supposed to need. Um. Book Necromon. This doesn't make sense. How come I can't get the book? Oh man, this this is just nuts. All I can do is open it or close it. Hmm, I think that's going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, yo, back are you, Siskin? I've got bigger problems. Actually, I'll have a chat with you. Praise be to Christ, brother. In the middle of the night, I saw the brother Circators drinking and playing dice. How marvellous! Did you join in? And more importantly, can I join in next time? Siskin, I thought it wasn't allowed. If the Circators can, we all can. That's not how it works though, is it? I know. A double standard. The Elder Brothers can do as they please, but they're the ones preaching about morality to us. Hmm. I'm more bothered about this bloomin' Ha! All of the treasures are broken. What? Yeah, I can open that. But I can't open that. This is a... Ah, oh, there! Ah, right. Necromonicon 1. Right, okay. We shall have that. I think that's what... Uh, that was what I was looking for. That explains it then. Get the Necromonicon. Necronomicon. Right, okay. Is I think we'll have that one as well. That could come in handy. Ha! Ah, this looks like the Saracen language. Unbelievable! Imagine these men could have been burned at the stake just for writing these books. And many were, I'm sure. It's mostly Latin. That's not much use. But what about this one? Magical potions for conjuring diverse apparitions. I'll take it. Hey, you better leave that here. What are you so afraid of? No one will notice if one or two books are missing. But this one looks interesting. A sorcerer's potion for rematerializing the body physical in other realms and for conversing with spirits of all manner therein. Oh, I have to try it out. I'll remember the recipe and prepare it later. Oh yeah, well, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Well, I'm not seeing anything else. Have a look. So there's that one there. Uh, that means literally nothing to me. That one there. That's for getting rid of the spirits. Fair enough. Right, so. Not a great deal I can do then until tomorrow. I think the to speak to them first thing in the morning. I need to stash these out of the way. Uh, see what we can do about uh, those cicadas, because to be honest, I think I'm going to turn them in. I do not like them at all.